Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Filipino Vlogger. If you guys new to my channel, please don't forget to leave me a thumbs up in my video. Subscribe to my channel and click notification bell so you'll be notified on my next video. And if you finish already, then let's begin. you guys I would like to share to you guys just the simple tips of um, Westerner or expat why they choose to live here in Philippines okay the first one is the cost of living correct yes guys the cost of living here it's really different from your country and uh, you may shop the things that is very affordable destination for expat for foreigners wanted to retire here in Philippines, you can get the accommodation at a very low cost. Okay, so if you choose to retire in Philippines, may um, this was the thing that um, the cost of living is very different in your country because they like, for example, the rent. You know, the cost for the apartment or if you rented here in Philippines, it's really different, you know. Say like, for example, uh, one bedroom, um, the flat here, for one bedroom, it costs 5000 you know? Say like, example like this. So, uh, maybe in your country, it was expensive for you guys, but here, 5000 pesos may be cheap for you, but... Um, uh, as a Filipina, it is not rich for us, okay? It's very, uh, we could not very afford. But to you guys, um, maybe cheap for you because the value of your money when it comes here in Philippines, dollar and pesos, it's very uh, yeah, different, you know? And your income is dollar and our income here is pesos. So maybe it's cheap for you guys to live here. And also, so if you choose like two bedrooms, if you wanted to choose um, apartment two bedroom, that costs more than 10,000 pesos a month, okay? So yeah, it depends guys on where you guys want to uh, choose to rent. You can get anywhere a delicious local casino, abundance of beautiful beaches here in Philippines, especially in province, guys. The cost of uh, food here it's maybe different from your country, and also even in the city because here in province they have like local food. You can uh, buy, you know, like dish in a uh, eatery you know and also they have fast food here restaurant yeah you guys can afford that maybe it's very affordable for you guys you know so especially here in a small province the price is very different compared to the city quite big different from uh, in your country okay see so like for example here guys if you buy a dish uh, meat or fish it that costs 30 pesos 30 pesos to 40 pesos one serve okay and uh, yeah that's quite how many in um, US dollar for that or how many equivalent rate in your country so maybe that's one thing also and anywhere in uh, Philippines you can get uh, very affordable um, local cuisine or restaurant here so maybe and also the food was really delicious okay they have uh, Filipino dishes it's very delicious if you love Filipino dishes and don't worry because if you're not a fan with the Filipino food you can also have grab like um, pasta or toast bread or whether you like it and the next is good and services that are cheaper than in your country so this was uh, 
very uh, big difference also because um, we Filipino is just very hospitable, friendly, wherever you go here in Philippines, especially in province or in the city, Filipinos are very hospitable, you know, they, they, they are very friendly, you know, they, because they, they can talk in English, they will understand, so they will, if you say hi, hello to them, and they will respond to you and then talk to you, even uh, we Filipino, it's not very fluent in English, but the best thing is we understand and we communicate uh, English. You can also find affordable health care as long as you retire goes to hospital. However, certain parts lack infrastructure and investment. Okay, say like for example guys here in Dipolog, um, it's very uh, don't expect too much when you, once you're here in province speaking of health care because it's very different in your country once you're here in um, um, hospital here in the province okay here in the small province it's you need a lot of patients once you're going to the hospital okay it's not it's not like in your country okay that's a very big difference guys so um especially the you know the things that the doctors yes they have the nurses here and doctors but uh, it's hard to explain but once you're here and you encounter and if you know like um, you Filipino they're going to the hospital and you ask what's the services it's about it's very big different services than in your country compared to uh, small province okay so that's a very big difference guys um from your country than here in philippines and the last one i shared to you guys is the english accent okay the way how you speak english accent once you're here in the philippines guys especially in a province so as i encounter at work retain the customers so sometimes most of the foreigners they talk like an english accent it's very different to understand as a locals as a filipina because i have encountered um foreigners in information you know they they speak english but the accent that we could not adapt how how what what they mean what they talk about because the english is not clear so it should be when you come here to philippines you speak like don't bring your accent when you talk to people because sometimes yes it could not hard to understand english but uh plus the accent that you deliver it's hard to understand us okay so try to speak slowly in english loud so that the locals would uh understand what she's saying you know because so that they will say huh huh what do you talk about because you could not really direct understand because the accent you deliver we could not actually understand okay so try to speak slowly to the locals okay so that's it for today's video i hope you like it and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and click notification bell so that you will be notified of my next video thank you so much